Hey, greetings, friends. Chris here. Uh, welcome. Today is May 4th, is Star Wars Day. So with that uh, in mind, I wanted to, to share a little bit of uh, a couple of insights that I gained from, from watching Star Wars. I'm a, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, have been since the very first movie when I was just a little kid in the 70s and saw it in the theater. Couldn't believe it. Blew my mind, and I've been a fan ever since. But in the spirit of uh, Star Wars and in the spirit of financial preparation, there are a few things that Han Solo consistently does. Come here, buddy. Consistently does that uh, they're excellent tips and tricks for uh, building wealth. And so while you might not think of Han Solo as uh, you know, a financial planner or a prepper, maybe you could see him as a prepper, but uh, he definitely employs a couple, of, uh, a couple of strategies for accumulating wealth that we could all learn from. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what some of those tricks really are. I bought run Imperial Starships. Not the local bulk cruisers, Mikey. I'm talking about the big Carillion ships now. She's fast enough for you, old man. What's the cargo? Only passengers. Myself, the boy, two droids, and no questions asked. What is it, some kind of local trouble? Let's just say we'd like to avoid any Imperial entanglements. Well, that's the real trick, isn't it? It's going to cost you something extra. Ten thousand, all in advance. Ten thousand? Well, who else buy our own ship for that? But who's going to fly it, kid? You? You bet I could. I'm not such a bad pilot myself. Let me sit here and listen. We can pay you two thousand now, plus fifteen when we reach Alderaan. Seventeen. Okay, you guys got yourselves a ship. That's great. I could never get enough of that. So uh, the, the, there's actually two tricks here, right? Two tips that Han Solo was able to teach us. And the first one is uh, always have some hustle in you, right? Uh, whether that's uh, hustling on your primary job or you got a side hustle, uh, the name of the game is hustle, right? So convert your energy, convert your time, uh, which is the, the pre most pre precious resource you have, into, uh, into wealth, right? and do the best you can at that. So hustle, number one, maintain some hustle. Number two, never undersell yourself. So I love it when uh, you know Luke was a little bit indignant at the, at the price. Han Solo knows what he's worth. You should know what you're worth too. And uh, make sure you uh, strike a good deal or negotiate your best to, to get what you're worth. So that's lesson number two. Well, let's check out lesson number three. If I may say so, sir, I noticed earlier the hyperdrive motivator has been damaged. It's impossible to go to ice. We're in trouble. So did you catch that number three, uh, tip number three, strategy number three is in there. And maybe you didn't pick up on it, but it is fix the things you have before you buy a replacement for them, right? So uh, this, uh, this goes along the lines of, you know, try to avoid buying new cars before you've, you've fixed one that, uh, that needs a little bit of work. Or, you know, try to fix an appliance before you sell it. You know, sometimes you can get a couple extra years out of something simply by trying to fix it. Sometimes... Sometimes you've, you've built up in your head the fix to be more complicated than it actually is. Um, and so follow Han Solo's advice. And before you, you try to jump into a new starship, do your best to fix it up, right? And of course, the Millennium Falcon was a deal from the get-go. We all know we won it in a poker match. Uh, and it takes a little bit of elbow grease and work from time to time to keep, keep this thing running. But it's well worth it. And I think you, you'll be well served, too, by living uh, with uh, or trying to use Han Solo's strategy or tip number three for, for wealth creation, right? The less you're spending on new expensive stuff, the more money you have in your pocket to do other things, which primarily are going to be saving and investing if you're looking to accumulate some wealth. Uh, so that's it. Hey, happy fourth uh, to you. May the fourth be with you. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. As always, take care, and we'll see you next time.